Thanks, everyone. We'll get started with chatting. Um, Becky Hanneman noted that or pregame that her team didn't really execute things defensively well in those first two games. So what did they do in, in this game that essentially took John Quell out of the game and then they kept Sabrina scoreless until the third quarter? Yeah, I mean, um, they 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 came out and played the way that they should play. You know, um, they were competing. They had urgency. Um, they gave Sabrina very little space. They were active with their hands, getting deflections. They were very physical. Um, and we, uh, you know, I mean, we didn't play very well, but uh, they took us out of our rhythm. And, um, you yeah, know, they just stayed close. We didn't set good enough screens to get separation. We didn't roll hard enough. All the little things that would have helped us, um, we didn't. Um, so that's on us. But, you know, they, they came out and did what they're supposed to. Um, now it's how we come back on Sunday and, um, we're still 2-1, and we got to learn from this. It's not a good game, not happy. I mean, I think we lack discipline. But, um, you know, we're a way better team than what we showed. Even though that first half, we're only down by three, it just didn't feel good. <laughs> it was like, this is not how we play. Yeah, for either of the players, what was the biggest difference or factor that allowed the bases to really put their foot down in the third quarter, 16 on injured points, and it was 21-6? In you want me to answer this? Yeah, I do. Um, I mean, I think that defensively we weren't where we needed to be, and um, they were playing in so much space, and they already hit however many threes in the first half, and uh, when they had the space to, to take even more, they were confident in that, and, and obviously, you know, playing um, on your home court is a little bit different. And you build confidence behind that, and Vegas did that. And I think that um, we got a little bit sped up offensively. Whether they score or not, it's fine. But, like, we have to also get a score. Like Sandy said, it was 52-49 at half, and then 16 out run is, like, ridiculous. Yeah, Brianna, uh, it's, it's tough to face a team that's like its season is on the line. You guys have been in that position before. I know how much you want to come in here and close this out, but just emotionally, how hard is it when their sort of backs are against the wall and you're trying to match that intensity? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. This is when teams are, are most dangerous when their backs are against the wall and they're going to throw everything at you. And uh, They came out and, and did what they were supposed to do tonight. And I think that, you know, our conversations in the locker room afterwards are uh, – First of all, like we have to keep our heads up because game four is coming very, very quickly, but we need to learn as quickly um, as well and, and be ready for the next game because it's not going to get any easier from here. Like this is the playoffs. Can you explain what you close out game situations before? They always say close out games are the hardest. From your perspective, why is it so hard to close out a series? Because you're you're like trying to finish a team season, um, and to continue to to kind of keep going and know that they're gonna throw everything at you. You know they're gonna be aggressive. They're gonna use their fans. They're gonna use the momentum behind it. Um, and I think that you know we just didn't come ready for all that. We didn't come and like embrace the hard things. Um, because this this shit isn't easy, and we saw that tonight. We'll take a few more on Zoom, starting with Andrew. Thank you very much. My question is for Courtney. Courtney, we rarely ever see you get a technical foul, and how that was something that would just appear very odd from other person's perspective. So what did the officials say in terms of how you got a rare technical foul there? Uh, it wasn't what he said. It was what I said. Um, but, you know, I was a little bit frustrated with the lack of call on the other end. Um, but, you know, that's on me. I I, I got to be more physical. Um, and, yeah, a rare one. But, you know, this this happens. I'm trying to get my team fired up. And, um, you know, I'll live with it. Miles? Hi, this is a question for anybody, but in terms of the defensive pressure on the perimeter, what did you see from Vegas? There was an illusion in in their presser to 
the whistles maybe being tighter on them in New York as opposed to tonight, did they bring the same intensity that you've seen? And maybe tonight the the refs were just letting them play a little bit more, or is this just not matching their intensity? Um, look, I I think their defense, um, yeah, there wasn't many. It was thirteen to ten and fouls, so oh, letting everything go tonight. You could do what you want. Um, they brought the physicality. They were more intentional how they wanted to play. There was a little less separation. It's like they were more connected than they were um, in those other games, and that's going to happen. They're back. They're, this is you know win or go home. Um, and we knew we were going to get a, a tough fight there, but um, they were just more disruptive. And then I thought they I, they saw success and then it gave them more energy. And, you know, we kind of went away from what worked for us. We, we got sped up on offense. We didn't move it. We didn't set screens. We didn't roll hard. All the little things that we know that we're capable of, um, we didn't. Um, and then in the second, in that third quarter in particular, we could make shots and we made poor decisions and they were making runs. Um, and then it was one-on-one -on -one ball. My gosh, I mean, just one-on-one. -on -one. I'm going to go score or I'm going to commit and then pass it and they were making shots. So, um, you know, they did what they were supposed to. We didn't play anywhere near our potential and so it's a, an opportunity for us to learn quickly and come back on Sunday. Russell? Hi, everybody. Uh, Sandy, Vegas obviously really made an effort to take Sabrina out of it. Um, given how she struggled. What, what does this game show about how important her success is for your team offensively? And just what can you do to maybe get her more involved in game four? Yeah, look, um, you know, obviously they did. She's been playing great. Um, so, of course, they want to make it hard for her. Um, I think that they did. They put her in action down the other end. Um, they were being really aggressive in the pick and rolls this time. She was, wasn't was able to get downhill. It was more of a you know, more of a hard hedge and they're very active with our hand, their hands, getting deflections and, you know, making it really hard. But, you know, for us, we're, we've got to, you know, um, she's just got to continue to trust her. We'll, we'll get the ball back to her and take the ones that are open. Uh, she missed some open ones that she usually makes, but sometimes teams speed you up. So, um, you know, getting her off ball a little bit and, but she'll be fine. She's a she's a competitor. She'll, um, you know, she'll take this on on the nose and, and come ready to play in the next game. Thank you. Um, it felt like those first two games of the series in New York, the home crowd was almost like a character in itself. Like you had Spike Lee talking trash from the court side and everything like that. Just wondering if for any of you could give your perspective of the environment here and how that impacted the goal of the game, if at all. To, to me? Oh, yeah, it was loud. Yeah, it was very loud. I mean, that's what we had in New York, and that was, you know, home court advantage. And I think uh, it was a home court advantage today, but we're used to playing in loud, but obviously now it was the crowd that was against us. Um, and that's where we probably have to huddle more and communicate a little bit more. Um, so, you know, stay together. I didn't think we we're always on the same page, and you could see that, and they exploited it. We'll finish with Jackie. you almost read my mind there. Um, I just want to know what is the key to staying together heading into game four? Yeah, it's just building up what we've been doing all season, um, trusting each other and knowing that um, this is a series for a reason. Um, it just the reality is it's hard to sweep. Um, and this is a great basketball team. And so, you know, we're not panicking by any means. We know that we have to make adjustments and um, just rely on what we've done all season. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.